42. Another big performance in the paint for Elena Coates and Asia Wilson, but a true team performance for South Carolina. Ten players getting into the box score and five in double-digit scoring. Birch Antley and Debbie Antonelli with you. Big win for South Carolina again as they move on to 3-0. It's a big win because you're just checking it off on the journey on your way to what you ultimately want to do, and that is get better every game. And I thought South Carolina got better on the defensive end today. They certainly dominated on the glass, and they had good balance offensively. Dawn Staley was able to get into some different rotations, which when you're playing three games in three days is important to a coach. Well, let's take a look, shall we, at the highlights and a lot to choose from. We will start with Asia Wilson. I thought they dominated the baseline early. They established their identity, which is to pound it inside. Both Wilson and Coates were very successful on the interior, scoring points in the paint. And then in the second half, I thought they did a really good job defensively. They forced Maine into some shot clock violations. And then uh, again, it's just a relentless, overwhelming feeling, a punishing block to block, rim to rim presence. And on defense, they build a wall, literally. And it is tough to score around them. You've got to score over them. You've got to go around them to score. Third consecutive double-double for Elena Coates as she led all scorers with 12 points and collected 14 rebounds. And a big night for the freshman off the bench, Makia Herbert Harrigan, 13 points and eight rebounds. Up next for South Carolina tomorrow night, they will play St. Peter's here at the Colonial Life Arena in Columbia. For Debbie Antonelli, I am Birch Italy.